are back here on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. Scattered about the ring, the pieces, the call your shot gauntlet trophy won by Bully Ray. That is why he'll be able to challenge Josh Alexander for the Impact World Championship on Friday the 13th of January in Atlanta at Hard to Kill live on pay-per-view and Fight TV. Tonight, however, Bully Ray will go one-on-one -on -one now with John Schuyler in the wake of the near 60-minute classic we saw last week between Bailey and Alexander. You have to wonder how Bully Ray saw that incredible contest. Yes, we're all worried about, you know, what kind of effect that matchup, that type of matchup, that arduous of a matchup has on Josh Alexander just a few weeks out from hard to kill, but also in a weird kind of different way. That challenge meant for Bully Ray answered with that incredible, incredible effort. You wonder if that was a message sent to Bully Ray showing you this is the kind of athlete I am. This is the kind of wrestler I am. This is the kind of champion I am. Ugh. Not only that, but also Bully Ray avoiding being called out by Josh Ooh. Alexander last week. The walking weapon wanted to do that earlier on tonight. Scott Demore said this isn't going to happen two weeks in a row. So the champion listening to Scott Demore. Meanwhile, Tommy Dreamer trying to apologize to Josh Alexander. Oh, and a pile driver by Bully Ray. Bully takes out Skyler. Here's your winner, Bully Ray! Bully Ray takes care of business quickly. And, and almost the antithesis of what occurred last week. Bully Ray comes out here in an in incredibly quick fashion. Whoa. Makes his own statement. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Speaking of making a statement. Where is Tommy Dreamer? The longtime friend of Bully Ray. Out here in the impact zone. Two weeks ago, things broke down in utter chaos as Tommy Dreamer tried to interfere, tried to prevent Bully Ray from destroying Rich Swan. And these two longtime friends got into it. It got ugly. Do you hear that? You know what that is called? History. That's history between you and I. A couple of weeks ago, you came out here, you knocked me on my ass, and you kept saying, what? Why? You know why I want to tell you wha why? Is because we were friends. I stuck up for you. I vouched for you for everybody in that locker room. And if you don't think everybody saw it coming except one gullible person, it was me. Because I thought for once in your life you had changed. And you know what's going to happen to you? You're going to get your ass kicked by Josh Alexander at Hard to Kill. I am a 50-year-old man who isn't gonna be part of your negativity. What I'm looking at you face to face is, I am not here to fight you. I am here to tell you that our friendship is done. And the other part of it, we still have to work together on Busted Open. Cool, you do your thing, I'm doing my thing. And like I said, at Hard to Kill, you'll get yours. Because again, you wanna make me look like a fool, great. Shame on me for trusting you. I will never have anything ever to do with you again, except for when we're working on the radio or we're doing stuff in the back. Thank you very much. And I'm here to tell you this in front of everybody, because you want to put everybody on the spot. So, bitch, I just put you on the spot. Yep. Walk away. No, 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 no. Don't turn around. Keep walking away. You got out of the ring for a reason so you can walk up the ramp and leave. Because at the end of the day, what I learned about you in the past 28 years of our friendship is that you are nothing but a jealous coward.
Tommy Dreamer, the heart and soul of pro wrestling. Tommy, at the end of the day, you're a nobody. If Devon walked in my shadow, you walk 10 steps behind at all times. I was a bigger star than you in ECW. I was a bigger star than you in the WWE. I was a bigger star than you right here in Impact, Tommy. A bigger star all over the world. Some might say you're a failure in the wrestling business. No, 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 no. You walked out of the ring, so don't get back in the ring. Don't get back in the ring. Oh, you're getting mad? You're getting hot? What do you want to do? You want to take a swing, friend? Huh? You won't take a swing. Because when I got to the best shape of my life and I'm a fighting machine, you turned into a fat bastard who still works in the back. And ho, one more thing. One more thing. Remember uh, about a month and a half, two months ago, the kid Ace, Ace Austin? Remember when he got laid out in the back? You stupid son of a bitch. Of course it was me. Of course it was me. And I knew you would go to bat for me. And I knew that you would stick up for me. So I did the same thing to you that I've done to everybody else. I used you and got exactly what I wanted. The truth hurts. Tommy, and I can see the tears coming out of your eyes. You call me a bitch? You're crying on television, you bitch! You know why I'm crying? Besides what's going on with my mom in the hospital? I don't give a shit about your mother! You know what I deal with every single night when I go to bed. You know those scars I put on your head. You know that piece of your ear that I ripped off. You know that big ass scar you have on your arm is because of me and I gotta deal with mental health for stuff that I've gone through in this business. And I know I'm not a normal person, but I did it because I loved it. And I fight these feelings every day. But you know what, you son of a bitch. A long time ago, I was the innovator of violence. And motherfucker, you want to do this? Let's do this right here, right now. Thank <laughs> you.